Hello guys. Today's video I'm a little nervous about, but I'm also excited because I haven't done a fashion video in forever. You guys recently started commenting more on my videos saying that you'd want to see more of the outfits that I've been wearing recently. I feel like I've expanded my closet a little bit and I've been experimenting a little bit more. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys outfits that I've been wearing recently. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to title this yet. Obviously, I live in Montreal and it's super cold here, so a few of these outfits are definitely going to be good for really cold weather, but I also did just spend a bit of time in Germany where it's a little warmer, so the like temperature that these are ideal for is definitely going to depend on which outfit I'm showing you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and like these outfit ideas. I also want to say a huge thank you to ThreadUp for working with me. On today's video, I'm really excited to be working with them because they're an online thrift store, which is perfect for me because I tend to order a decent amount of clothes online because I'm kind of lazy and I don't love going out and shopping and looking through a bunch of stuff in that way, but it still allows me to shop secondhand, which is something that I've been trying to do a lot more. Obviously, thrifting is great for a lot of reasons. Like most people say, you save a lot of money, you get individual, like more unique pieces, and you also end up <clears throat> being a lot more sustainable, which is great too. So, let's get into everything I picked out. First up, I got a new purse. This one's from Coach, so obviously it's a little bit on the higher end side of thrifting, but I got a really good deal on it because it was estimated to retail at $350, and I got it for $86, which is obviously a huge difference. I didn't have a good brown bag, so I'm really excited to start using this more often, and the quality of it's so good, like you can barely tell that it's been used before. Next up are these Calvin Klein dress pants. These are low-waisted, and they like kind of flare a little bit at the bottom, which I really like. The fit of them is just super flattering. Next up, I picked up one of these like North Face black zip-up fleeces. I really like this at leisure kind of look and because it's fleece, it's really good for layering. So wearing something like this under a puffer is gonna like make sure that I'm super warm. Next up, I got this blue puffer vest. I don't have a puffer vest, but I really like the look of them. So I'm excited to wear this more often as well. I also got a second coach item. This one is like a black trench coat, kind of. This was also estimated to retail at around 350 and I got it for 86 instead, which is a really great deal. Once again, I'm excited to style this for sure. It's on the thinner side, so I think I'm going to be wearing this more during like spring and stuff like that, but I really like this. And then finally, I got this green little knit sweater. This one doesn't really fit me the way I want it to, which I'm sad about because I think it would have been really cute. But ThreadUp has a really good return policy, so I think I'm just gonna end up returning this one. Yes, those are all the pieces they sent, so you guys will be seeing those in the outfits that I show you guys. I highly recommend you check out ThreadUp yourself, and if you do end up wanting to order anything, you guys can use the code HANNAH at checkout for 30% off and free shipping. So definitely do that. But yes, without further ado, let's get straight into the outfits. Okay, starting off with the first outfit. This is the base, I'm wearing the Calvin Klein pants and then just this gray tank top. This is Nads's, but I think it's from Cotton On? I don't know. I like the fact that this is a little bit longer because since the pants are low-waisted, it's like not a lot of torso showing. Also, when it comes to jewelry, I tend to wear the same thing on a daily basis. So two of these necklaces are from Be The Label and then the one that's like a little bit more here, this one that's like a little bit more gold I got for Christmas. So I'm not sure where this one's from. And for earrings, I have no idea where these are from, but it's just a basic gold hoop and then like a little stud. And then finally, both rings are from Every Jewels. My nails look horrible. Please try to ignore that. I will fix them soon. They've just slowly been falling off and I've been ripping them. Just to add a little bit more to this, I'm gonna be wearing it with this Ralph Lauren, um, just like basic white button up. This is my dad's old one. So I'm gonna put this on. So this is what that looks like with it. I feel like it adds a little bit to it. If I had the choice of any shoes with this, I would probably wear the like New Balance dad shoes. So imagine those with this, but obviously I don't have those. So I'm gonna go and see what I can do. Cass has the New Balance 550s. So I think this would be cute with it, but I also have um, these Converse. These are really dirty, but I feel like they'll work. Can't tell if this looks weird. Okay, I changed into blazers because I feel like now it's a little more like monochromatic. 
And then obviously if I was gonna actually leave the house or like be outside I would have to wear something else. So I'd probably just do my North Face Because I feel like this just goes with anything and it will keep me warm enough Yay When it comes to like a go-to outfit, I feel like this is my uniform. I tend to wear some sort of like basic long sleeve with Whatever pair of pants that I feel like that day. I have been really loving these dark wash jeans. These are secondhand So I'm sorry I can't give you guys a place for these and then Uniqlo makes really good long sleeve tops and they're heat tech Which means that they like trap heat better than other long sleeves Which is really good for winter time and layering if I wanted to do like soccer mom aesthetic I would definitely do the North Face with this <clears throat> This is gonna be really hot just in my room, but this would definitely be good for a really cold day I zip it up till here. Oh my god, cute! Amazing. I just put on some Reeboks, but this by itself, I feel like it's already cute. Once again, to go outside, I would put on another jacket. I don't know if double North Face would be too much, but it literally goes with everything. And then if I was going to school, I see a tote. I really like this Realization Part 1. Very easy but cute. I could also easily do a crew neck on top of this. You guys have probably seen this one of my videos. I wear it all the time. It's from TU. It's, it's a Montreal brand. I think these colors would work really well with this vest as well. This is obviously a completely different vibe, but I think this is really cute too. I have this tote from Cotton and I feel like the wording on this goes with this a little bit better than the Realization Par, so if I was going to school or carrying a laptop or something, I'd probably take this one. So that's this final fit. Puffers are definitely an essential for me. Because Montreal is so cold during the winter, it's really hard to wear any other sort of jackets unless I'm piling on like layers and layers and layers, which is just a lot more difficult when you start getting inside again and then you have to take everything off. So I feel like my preferred way of dressing is like putting on an outfit and then putting the puffer on top just to keep warm when I'm outside. Outside of the North Face one, I do also have this brown one from Zara. It fits a little bit differently because it's a little bit more cropped and the material is different. But I like this one a lot too. One thing I've definitely been wanting to get more of for this winter is scarves. If you guys watch my Berlin video, you guys will know that I just recently thrifted this one, which I think goes really well with the brown puffer because of the brown tones in this one as well. So because a puffer tends to cover up whatever I'm wearing underneath, I think a scarf like this is really cute just to add a little bit more flavor to when i'm walking outside i just really like the colors of this so i definitely want to get more different like patterned ones with combination of different colors and stuff and then finally if it's really cold and i need my ears covered i'll also wear a little beanie this one is cassie's carhartt one i wear this a lot because i think it looks good with like all the browns and stuff like that and i like the way it fits my head because if they're too flat i feel like my head looks like too big but yes i really like this all together and then I changed into my converse just because I feel like they match better because they're off-white too ready for the snow baby tees with like little different patterns on them are definitely one of the things that I also want to expand in my closet I just recently bought this one from realization par that I'm obsessed with I think it's a cool way to kind of like incorporate more interesting outfits just because the shirt itself is not just like basic top with nothing on it so right now I'm just wearing this one with these off-white pants that I have from weekday. With the two of these, I'm just wearing these boots that I got from Steve Nadin. I think this purse would be really cute with this as well because of the like kind of beige and like brown tones in all of these. Like I think this is really cute. One thing that I've been wanting to find more ways to wear is this brown leather jacket that I just recently got in Germany from a vintage store. So I think this would go really well with this outfit. I think this is super cute. Hey! Even though I really like this baby tee, it's definitely still too cold for the weather we're in right now. So I just threw on this green sweater on top. But yeah, I think this with the leather jacket is a cute fit. Even adding a hat to this, I feel like might also make it look a little more put together. I've seen something really similar to this on Pinterest, which is where I got the inspo from, but I think it works really well. 
even though most of the time i wear these leather pants it's like dressed up in a party context i have been trying to get more use out of them in terms of wearing them on the daily because i think they're cute and also they're from aritzia and they were expensive so i want to make sure that i'm getting the most use possible out of them so for this outfit i'm starting off with the leather pants and then i'm again wearing like a heat tech shirt this comes longer but i just folded it up because i think it looks better like this and then on top of that i'm layering this little tommy sweater i really like this cassie thrifted it i believe um but i borrow this from her all the time i think it's so cute and because it's a long sleeve plus a sweater like this on top with the jacket i'm always super warm i feel like you can honestly do any shoes with this because it's a neutral outfit but i'm just wearing my reeboks and then with this again i'm just doing the brown puffer i have with this tote obviously when it gets super cold one pair of pants is a lot of the time also not enough so when it's like freezing out i do also layer a pair of leggings underneath my pants and then finally for the last outfit we've got this top right here with just these blue like asymmetrical jeans i really like the way these fit because they're super wide leg these are from ardeen and then this top is from zara i think this is super flattering plus the color makes it a little bit more dressy to go with the dressier look i'm gonna pair this with the black trench coat from thread up i just think the black just goes really well with like a classic blue jean and then to finish off the outfit i'm just wearing my glasses on top of my head it's kind of stupid but i'm using it as an accessory <laughs> and then i've got the realization par bag again and then i'm wearing the steve madden boots just because i feel like the black ties in well with the trench so that wraps it up for this outfit the sun is starting to set now so i'm going to end this video off right here i've basically gone through my entire closet and hopefully this video gave you a couple different ideas for how to style a few different pieces in your closet and how to wear different jackets during the winter this is this is horrible i'm so sorry thank you so much again to thread up for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to use my coupon code at checkout for 30 percent off and free shipping that is going to wrap it up for this video if you want to see more fashion or styling content on my channel definitely let me know because this was super fun to do with that being said i love you guys all to the moon and back and i will see you in my next video bye